Why is Lego Dreams complicated? I have a complicated relationship with Lego Dreams, and I'll tell you at the end of this video. Stay tuned! Hello, it's me, Mayo Hosco, coming to you at 60 frames per second in 4K resolution. No sugar, no filler, just real whole egg, and welcome to my channel. <laughs> So these are two LEGO Dreams gift with purchases that were available during August 1st LEGO releases for the first week of August. And it is the Zoe character with her um, hang glider jetpack kind of thing, which also included this flying monster that has these really awesome eyes that are printed and that has these frosted trans pink wings that kind of look like a bat wing. She's also got a purple bow and arrow. Her jetpack wings are medium azure 2x4 wedge plates. The actual thrusters are trans purple and her hair is purple she's got the medium azure face paint right there and a really expressive mouth with some purple lipstick on it and a really complex torso design you can see that she's wearing highly detailed pajamas because the dreams characters are dreaming while they're having their adventures so, LEGO has done similar jetpack builds in other themes before, and honestly, they get kind of redundant after a while. But if they shake things up a bit, and they add little bits of unique flair to the builds, I'm okay, I'm okay with that. And if they come with an attractive-looking minifigure, I'm okay with that. And this version of Zoe definitely fits that bill. Now, I want to f focus a little bit more attention on this flying creature because this has a, a lot more interesting pieces than you'd expect. Not just the eyes and the wings that we pointed out, but it's got that modified 1x2 plate with the two plated barbs right there. And at the back, it's got that spring green small horn. A lot of people confuse the spring green for being glow-in-the-dark. But it's actually not glow in the dark. A lot of people get that wrong. And its body is actually built on a dark pink. No, a magenta camera piece. The focus is a, a little bit all over the place when I go transition from short focus to long focus with my, my iPhone camera. But you can make out the end of the camera right there. So this... I think the way they got this set up, it's more that the sum of the parts is better than its whole. Because you see this going around in the year, and you think, wow, that's a pretty obscure looking creature. But obviously, when you're dreaming, anything can happen. I have a lot of Lego dreams. Like, dreams when I'm sleeping at night about Lego, and I certainly have never seen anything like this creature in my dreams because I dream about stuff like the Metro Liner and the airport shuttle from the early 90s and this is another one these poly bags are available for regular uh, retail at different stores around the world but I really like getting the poly bags when they're gift with purchases of other sets so this is the set with Z Blob and Bunchu. I have two versions of these. If you watch my live streams, which is always is at 9 p.m. Eastern on a Friday night in North America, which right now is 11 a.m. Eastern Australian every Saturday. I really hope I can upload this before daylight savings change. But you might have seen that I've built this thing before, and I think that that Bunchu bunny. Sorry, I'm getting a lot of notifications on my phone because I 
run a lot of different social media platforms. This bunny is so cute. It's in that medium azure colour, much like the wings for Zoe's jetpack. And it's got that opalescent purple colouring. The camera doesn't want to focus real well, but you can see that it does have a lot of sheen on it. And there's nothing on the back except for that really cute a buttoned tail right there. And Z-Blob, a lot of people like Z-Blob. Apparently there's also a plushie of Z-Blob that some people, <coughs> holding and balling, keep talking to me about. But, but no, seriously, holding and balling are, are good people and you should watch their podcast. So I like getting... Uh, I know that some people have actually army built Z-Blob right there. And so there's this... Trans clear one by one round brick that Z. I was going to say Zisu. No, Bunchu is on. Zisu is an actual friend of mine in the Lego community. Shout out to Zisu. Freudian slip right there. I'm not sure why they've got this posed up like he's descending from the heavens out of this rock formation or something. You tell me what you imagine this. And also got these really alien like white plants that are that have this swirl design, because again, when you're dreaming, anything can happen. And got these really interesting alien mushroom type plants right here. And the whole base is built on vibrant coral. The camera makes it look like orange from this, but it's definitely vibrant coral when I'm staring at it in person. And it also comes with this little spider on the side as well, which has those same eyes and has some larger barbed pieces to use as the legs. It's on Exoforce arms. You can see there's a seat so that you can sit right there. And it uses one of these black pieces that they normally use in white for the Minecraft spider webs. Got the trans clear 2x2 two two round brick on the bottom so you can pose it up. And this is a factually, well, this is a prototypically inaccurate spider because spiders are supposed to have eight legs. So why do I have a complex, complicated relationship with Lego Dreams? I've heard a lot of people complaining about Dreams and I've heard a lot of people praising Dreams. And I think my best answer is that it's another one of these creative, imaginative Lego themes that really neglects the playset. You can see lots of themes that have come in over the 21st century that put a heavy emphasis on vehicles or heavy emphasis on the characters and not enough of an emphasis on the playset. And sadly, Dreams has succumbed to that normality for me. I like a lot of the individual details, but sometimes I feel like with a lot of other themes that a dreams set, the sum of its parts is greater than the whole. Because I wish that there was more play sets in dreams. On a live stream, I was looking at the new dream sets when I do my news cycles on my Friday night live streams. And I was disappointed that only one of the six sets was a playset. I think we need a better ratio. Lego has proven they are capable of doing really good Dreams playsets, I would like to see more of them, and I fear that LEGO Dreams will fall into the trap of other action themes that have been discontinued throughout the 20th century. I mean the 21st century. Anyway, those are my thoughts about the complication of LEGO Dreams. Thank you for watching this video, it is appreciated. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and ring that notification bell. Remember to watch all of my live streams at 9 p.m. Eastern on a Friday night in North America, which right now is 11 a.m. Australian Eastern every Saturday. And I will see you in the next video. <laughs>